Hey, I know these guys. Richard Stanley, it's great to see you both again. Great to see you too. Hey. All right. Um, I'm going to start. Stanley, I want to know what the adrenaline rush is to be a part of this for you. I will tell you that it is extremely fun to watch, and I'm feeling the adrenaline. You're actually in it. Oh, it was great. I mean, it was really, really fun. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. The scale of it, you know, the scope of it, the complexity of it. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Richard, same question for you, the adrenaline rush, because it is captivating. It's, it's, I, I got anxious, <laughs> but that's good because it pulls you in. But for you, tell me what the adrenaline rush was. Uh, it's such a f packed show. And what we're trying to do is make something that's equally um, adrenaline rush from the, the action sequence as it is from the drama sequence. So yes, it can be anxiety making because you never get a break from it, but that's what kind of, the show has such a great momentum to it. Hopefully your heart's racing as much in a scene between two people just talking as it is, as you're seeing a train getting blown up. We're trying to achieve both at the same time. Stanley, uh, without spoilers, are you like Charlie, like from Charlie's Angels uh, in this? Oh, well, I suppose there's something there, yes, that's that's connected, yeah, or Q or whomever. Oh, oh uh, I but like that. I, but, you know, he's, he's, I think he's more complex than that because he, you know, the, he has this sort of dark past. Uh, he has an emotional connection with our main characters, but also... Uh, he's somebody who's not just sort of technically minded. He has also been out in the field himself. So there's a lot there for, for there's a lot there for me to play with. All right, this is going to be the most important question that you will be asked all day, Richard. Right. I'm starting with you, Stanley. You have a second to think about it, Richard. If you were a spy in real life, would you be a good spy? I would be a terrible spy. I'm an I'm terrible at lying. I'm very clumsy. I'm <laughs> poor at sports. Uh, I don't actually think I have any quality that is needed for being a spy. No, nope, doesn't sound like it. It doesn't, you know. Yeah. And you? <laughs> Me? No, I would not be a good spy. I am I, I'm sort of hyper aware of human behavior, and yet at the same time, I would be too afraid to get caught and be tortured. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'd just, I'd be a terrible spy. And Stanley, I get a bonus question. Do you understand and do you realize how many trips to Italy you have probably sold? You've inspired so many people to cook. I, by the way, searching is just amazing. Thank uh, you. Huge fan. But you've got to just be so excited the reaction that you've gotten to that show. I am. I'm, I'm hugely excited by it. I'm so glad that people are going every time I go to Italy or wherever I am, people say I'm here because I'm in Italy because of you. Or a guy the other day said, I live in London. He said, I'm going to Italy tomorrow to blah, blah, blah. It happens every day. I don't know, like 10 times a day. And I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled about it. It's great for the Italian economy. <laughs> it's great for restaurateurs, uh, and it's great for people to visit Italy and maybe and see things that they would not have normally seen before. Well, I've watched this with my mom, actually. I've said, Mom, you're making that dish, and she's done a really good job with a lot of the recipes that you've, that you've uh, had on the show. Oh, Her great. Interpretation. Good. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, again, congratulations. Citadel is amazing. I really appreciate the time. It's great to catch up with you both again and stay safe and let's do it in person next time. Thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.